Hey everyone, on today's episode of Huber Hype, get away from her, you bitch! Hello everyone, welcome to the show. I am joined by none other than Gabby. <laughs> Because some things went down, Gabby. Some things went down <laughs> in your life that we're going to talk that about. It's so heavy. <laughs> it is. You just saw for the very first time ever, Alien and Aliens. <laughs> so we're going to dive into these movies. You watched Alien at home. Yeah. And then we both went to the New Beverly Cinema, Quentin Tarantino's own personal cinema. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he has his own collection of films. He say, Always on film. Always on film. He has this quote where he's like, as long as I'm rich, I'm going to keep <laughs> showing these movies at the theater. Like, it's not for profit. I mean, obviously they make some money yeah. and stuff, but like... It's not what it's about. It's about it's, showing it's art. <laughs> yes, it's about the art. Uh, so we got to see aliens in the theater on 35 millimeter film. But let's just dive into these movies, guy, <laughs> because these are two of the most important movies ever. Yeah. Like for pop culture society, I feel like these movies have stood the test of time and they still impact things that are being made today. And Aliens, like Resident Evil 2, is just my favorite movie of all time. My favorite thing of all time. Like, it'll, it's going to be hard to top that. But I want to hear your thoughts on the first one first. Okay. Alien. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I loved the... <laughs> you done? You settled? Yeah, settling in. Um, I loved the practical effects. Yes. I loved the light. Yeah. What did you know and expect going into Alien? Uh, Ripley. Okay, so Ripley is is in play and already. And there yeah. was an alien on the ship. And there's an alien. <laughs> and I knew she was alone at some point. Okay. Like, either everyone else had died or yeah. everyone else somehow got off the ship. Yeah. So that's what I knew. Did you, like, okay, so you knew there was an alien on the ship, but did you know <laughs> how that was going to go down? Like When they got off the ship onto yeah. the planet, I yeah. was like, whoa. <laughs> I thought it was, the alien was already on the ship yeah. when the movie starts. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like, what the hell are they doing on this planet? What I is going on? I was shocked when they like went into the crazy yeah. like hive or whatever the fuck the, it was. The derelict spaceship. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With like the giant figure. Yeah, and, like, what this... was that? So, so that is such a cool element of that movie is like the mystery, right? Because you're like, dude, what even? You, yeah. What is that? The enigmatic. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Why are the aliens here? I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just remembered a question I have from aliens. Sure. At some point, I think Bill Paxton says, um, he asks Ripley, like, oh, so you've seen a real alien. Yeah. And then later he says, are, is this a something? Is this like, you know, are, are we, is this a rescue or are we shooting Is this a bugs? rescue or is this a bug hunt? So they have, he has seen aliens before. Bill Paxton? Yeah. No. Well, then what, how do you know what a bug hunt is? Because they knew they were going to take out the aliens at that point but then the like bug hunt is like a phrase in his vernacular yeah because they knew there was an alien and that's why ripley's there she's like the alien specialist so he's like okay like are we what is going on here are we going to kill these supposed aliens that ripley is here for because she's a survivor of some alien encounter he just says it very casually like he has seen aliens yeah. before I mean, I think he's just a smug and, and okay. like, j practical joke. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I always just thought it was, like, he <sighs> he was just, like, commenting on, like, Ripley's history and, like, their mission. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He just says, he says bug hunt, like, yeah. oh, that's what all, yeah. like, military personnel call shooting aliens. Yeah. A bug hunt. Yeah. But then, like, he's never seen an alien before. Yeah. Yeah. That, so, was, yeah, that was my yeah. I just noticed that during the movie. And I wish I knew like how they're like I, I was rewatching Alien One, I was like, dude, how, like can they travel light speed? Like what's the what's I the don't tech think here? So. Yeah. <laughs> but they get to the alien planet in one and then uh the legendary sorry, I got like this this these allergies. <laughs> it's, it's a like, super bloom. That's it funny. is. It is out of control. It's out of control. Do they say look into the lights to sneeze or not sneeze? Like tilt your head up, yeah. I think. Just, <laughs> I go have to go like. Don't 
Don't do, don't look into the lights. That's not good. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the face hugger though. Mm-hmm. What were your thoughts on that? Did you know anything about that? Okay, once that popped up, I was iconic. like, okay, I've seen this. Yeah. I also knew the chest burster. So you knew it was going to pop out? Yes. Okay. Like, my, I was watching with my neighbor. Yeah. And she was, we looked at each other when he started, like, writhing at the yeah. table. And we were like, oh, yeah, okay, this is the chest burster scene. Yeah. Um, it was still really crazy and cool. Yeah. Because um, horror freaks you out, so were you... I love horror movies. Yeah, so you can handle it. Yeah. It's horror, horror, I mean, I... Yeah, I love horror movies. Yeah. I don't like watching them alone. But yeah. Horror game. It's just horror games. <laughs> yeah. But um, I didn't find it that scary. Alien. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, same, yeah same. It was more like suspenseful. Yeah. Um, not not the type of horror that I like, which is like the dread. Yeah. Just feeling you know what's gonna happen, and it's. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. In that way, it wasn't a horror movie to me. Yeah. But, you know, it was a horror movie in 19-whatever. 79, yeah, 79. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but it was still, like, scary and suspenseful, yeah. and I, I liked it a lot, the what practical did, effects. Yeah, yes. what did you think of the xenomorph, the alien? You barely see it. Yeah. Um, which I liked because it was 1979, so yeah. it probably would have looked kind of bad. Yeah. Um, and that's scarier anyway. Totally. Um, oh, something my my neighbor Noah pointed out is, like, the editing is so strange. Yeah. Like, Some cuts no are no establishing so... shots. Yeah. And, like... The very beginning is my favorite, though. The establishing shot of the uh, the ship. Yeah. The beginning, so... It's just going through the whole ship. So long. I love yeah, the intro. Really yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, and then... Oh, like, a lot of the time they'll, like... Like, when uh, Brett... Yeah. Goes to find the cat. Yeah. And he's like alone. He basically like screams and gets grabbed and they cut away. Yeah. Um, to Ripley and whoever, like in the in the main area with the rest of the crew, and they're like, Yeah, Brett got grabbed. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Like you don't see anything. Yeah. They just cut to him being dead. <laughs> Go on. And like we're just not asking where he is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just gone. Yeah. But uh the xenomorph itself. You liked it. Does it hold it's up? It's not in the movie. I know, but it's like such a, at this point in, it, like, it's such a legendary. And I had, I've seen it before. Yeah. I knew what it looked like. They're so iconic. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the, like, top things, I feel like, for movie, like, one of the most memorable, you know, it's up there with, like, Freddy Krueger yeah. and Jason Voorhees. Oh, it's yeah. like, dude, the, the, totally. the Predators, obviously, and it's like the alien. But you liked how it's just, like, hunting around yeah, and crawling cool. in the vents and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. I liked how... It looks like the ship. Yeah. Like it looks like metal. And yes. It's so awesome when you know it's in her spacecraft at the end because it's hiding there. Yeah. And when she, the camera does first person, so when she's like running to escape the main ship, you just see it there. You do? Yeah. You can like pause it and just see it like hanging out. It's so epic. It's Whoa. so epic. Because then like she, you know, she jettisons away or whatever and then she's like going over there and it I like, know you could see it. Yeah. It's like blending in with the pipes perfectly. Yeah, yeah. It looks so cool. That is really cool. What did you think of the overall lore of Alien 1 them being sent to the planet? You've got freaking Bilbo Baggins Ash as a droid. I forgot that's Bilbo Baggins. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you had no idea. I had that no idea. That is epic. I had no idea. Yeah. I I was like, okay, this guy's evil. Like we're supposed to understand that he's like kind of weird. Yeah. But then, when he is an angel, I I was <laughs> blown away. I had no clue yes. that there were aliens. I knew so. I knew. Halfway through the movie, I paused it and I turned to Noah and I was like, yeah. is Prometheus an alien movie? And she was like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And that's when I was like, okay, robots are a thing in this universe. God. Because what's his face plays a robot. David, did you see Prometheus? No. No. <laughs> but you know about Michael Fassbender as a robot. Yeah, it just okay. like that just like popped into my brain that Whoa. that was a thing. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that, like, you picked up that deep, like, I guess the Prometheus marketing and zeitgeist was good enough yeah. for of you to have I love registered robot. that. I love robot characters. Yeah. Um, Same. Like, 
C-3PO is the character I find most annoying, but also the character I relate to the most. Oh, C-3PO is <laughs> my, my favorite Star Wars character. I love character. C-3PO. Number one. Adore him, but yes. also I find him the most annoying. <laughs> also the most relatable. The best. So, you know, that's a complex I maybe have to talk about in therapy. But that, like, and, like, uh, Ex Machina, love that yeah. movie. Hell I love yeah. robots, love androids. So I think I just, like, that, like. What about cyborgs? Give me an example. Terminator. Never seen it. Okay. Well, <laughs> next on the list. <laughs> but uh, the overall lore going to the ship and that Android and all that, you were just, you liked it. That was so cool. Yeah. And just the white blood yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Which like uh, is they bring back in such a cool way in Aliens. Yes. Um, Great segue into Aliens. <laughs> Saw it in the theater. It was electric. And I've got to give a quick <laughs> Personal shout out to my favorite movie theater employee of all time. I didn't get his name. Yeah, uh, we wanted. I to get tried a, to look him up. I tried uh, to like go on LinkedIn and find him. I seriously want to get a picture with this guy and then have him sign it. Like I need his autograph. So if you <laughs> have watched reaction shots or if you know me at all, you have heard me say my strict movie theater policies and desires and needs. And that is no talking, no cell phones. So this guy comes out and he's like, he's like, all right, aliens on film. How many people, you know, he's like, I'm sure a bunch of you have seen this a hundred times. How many people have never seen it? And like 10 people raise their hand. Gabby's one, dude. Everyone's stoked. It's an electric mood in the theater. And he goes, okay, excellent. To preserve the movie magic for those of you that have not seen it, if I see a cell phone, lifetime ban <laughs> if if you if you're getting your phone out to have some important text message i'm going to tap you on the shoulder that's a lifetime ban i wonder if they have pictures of people who have a lifetime ban they should like in the office they absolutely should on the wall hall of shame yeah. this guy was a legend but then he cut it in with a very important moment of comedy yeah, he was funny. You he know? was doing his tight five minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like He was opening for aliens. He yeah. was. And he's like he's like he's like, yeah, if you really need to use your phone, the lobby is a cell phone friendly location. So go out there. But in here, the movie magic. <laughs> Lifetime ban. This guy was the best. He's like, yo, cell phones? Even your Apple Watch, if your watch lights up, lifetime ban. <laughs> so anyway, he set the tone. Everyone was respectful. Nobody talked. And my favorite element, before I uh, throw it to you to dig into Aliens, Gabby, <laughs> my favorite part of watching this movie in the theater with everyone and you, especially, was the were the jokes. <laughs> oh, the jokes? Were the jokes. They were going to say the jump scares. And the jump scares. <laughs> both. But you, like... Hearing you just laugh at like Hudson's antics and like these, because the movie has really it's funny some parts, good, really good jokes, really yeah. like we, we've heard these these lines. They are so ingrained in our brain. Like everyone, it is like one of the most quotable, memorized movies ever. And what's her name? Um, Newt. Newt. Very Hi. funny. Yes. Very difficult to make a child in a movie likable. Yes. Because they're usually not realistic and they kind of just have to like move the plot forward. Yeah. But Newt was really funny. Dude. Really yeah. likable. Shout I was scared Newt. when she showed up. Yeah. So You're like, like, oh, oh she's this no. kid. I'm going to yeah. drag everything yeah. down. But it was, it was, she was great. Newt's so hype. So like, yeah, because I, I just, you know, I always know the jokes. Like they're funny as hell still to this day every time, but I'm not like laugh out loud. Like, because yeah, yeah. I'm like, saying them before the actors even yeah, say yeah, them, you know? Yeah. So just like hearing all the jokes land so hard with the crowd and with you, like you laughed a lot, dude. Yeah. And it was fucking awesome. So yeah. <laughs> so Aliens, first plot element, 57 years later. Yeah, that was shocking. Yeah. I didn't, I expected it to be like a few months. And yeah. And she was like 57 years or whatever. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, obsessed with... Paul Reiser's character. Burke. Burke. Son of a bitch. Absolute, true, pure evil. Pure evil villain. Like, mustache twirling. Like, <laughs> I, I, at some point I thought he was a robot. <laughs> okay, was, shit. But he was so funny. Yeah. Paul Reiser is funny. Yeah. Like, we've seen him be hilarious. Yeah. Other shit, but. Maybe we can uh, build a fire, sing a couple yeah. songs, huh? <laughs> Everything he says is so earnest. Yeah. Like, 
the thing on the forefront of his mind is always money, yeah. no matter what. I yeah. love it. So multi-million, I like that they say multi-million dollar installation. I'd yeah, I was going to say, that's like nothing. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that when he said multi, yeah. I was like, that's pocket change. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So way different movie. Alien 1, you got yeah. a team of engineers in space versus one. Now Ripley's going back, not to bring back, not to study, yeah. but to wipe them out. With a team of colonial marines, which has heavy inspiration in so many video games. Halo specifically is yeah. one of the big ones. Just in general, that like space marine yeah. military type thing. And the, seeing the like number of bullets on the gun, I was like, this is Halo. <laughs> Pulse rifle hype. But uh, what do you think of this crew? What do you think of the effects and, and just the storyline? Because one, I will like two is my favorite movie of all time. I love them both so much. One, I always got to give a shout out to the the set design and the production design oh, and yeah. just how one looks. Yeah, it, I, it was more fun than Alien for sure. It's such a fun movie. Like, yeah. there's not a lot of jokes in Alien. Yeah, there are some. Yeah. It's not like you know there is some levity. Yeah, but it's mostly Parker looking for his cash. Yeah, Parker and Brett. <laughs> the cat sometimes is funny. <laughs> yeah. Um. But, yeah, it was more fun. Yeah. It was also, like, it was definitely less nuanced. <laughs> like, I feel like it's very James Cameron core to be like, oh, you had one alien? Well, I'm going to have thousands. Yeah. And like, you had one alien? I'm going to make that alien three times the size. Yeah. James Cameron always knows how to go bigger. And what did I say at the gelato place after? Uh, James Cameron loves a person, like, in a mech suit. <laughs> As soon as she got that in that, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so awesome, dude. It was, that was so cool. Like, dude, just vicariously, like, because there were people in the theater that hadn't seen it. And just like, Me. yeah. <laughs> so it's like this, just being able to vicariously watch it through your, like, laughter and suspense. I was also like, yo, I can give you a little, like, nudge on, like, maybe a jump scare or two. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm good. So, like, only just the one time, because it is such a good one. Only the one time I was like, ten percent of my thoughts were like, "All right, here it comes. She's gonna get this. She's gonna get jump scared so hard right here." Is the one time I was like, I was like giving you the side eye. I was like, "Here it comes, dude. It's when." And when uh, it got a little quiet, I almost looked out over at you because I was like, "Is he gonna nudge me?" And then it, ju- yeah, and I was scared. It's when sure. they they see the face huggers like in the tubes, and Bert gets really close to one, and it like, ah! yeah, you like, but I didn't, yelped. I didn't scream at that one. I screamed at the second one. The second one. When they like find the people in the that one, you yelped. I, I screamed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I, it was such a. You were the only one that like screamed, and it was like, a, it was like a. Ah! <laughs> that like. After I like kind of slunk down in my chair because you were embarrassed. <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> it was so good. Everyone was pumped, dude. Everyone was pumped for those reactions in the theater. It was. Yeah. A, it was a. The guy next to me was laughing. At it was me the when best I crowd. Screamed. It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. The guy, dude. Yeah. The guys that sat down next to me Everyone too. Everyone was so nice. Everyone was like, "Hey, dude, alien, so pumped." Me and this Wait, guy, guy were just like, "Yeah." Who was right next to you? Wasn't he like the effects designer he, on some other alien movie? D- they were saying one of them was working on the new show. One yeah. of them worked on like Prometheus. Like so they were, they were flexing. They were like throwing yeah. their cards out. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, dude, I just like this movie. And we met a fan. Shout out to Drew. Yes. Drew, you'll probably see in this uh, studio at some point. Yeah. He wants to cruise by. He works in games. Yep. Works at Riot, I think. Yeah. Yep. Works at Riot. Used to work in Naughty Dog. Yeah. Yep. Telling Drew's life story here. <laughs> Hope that's okay, Drew. Uh, but the xenomorphs don't show up for quite a while here. Yeah. What did you think of the pace? And most importantly, what did you think of the action? It was really cool. Mm-hmm. Again, the, so it was more fun. Yeah. But that was part of the like less nuance. Was yeah. it was like I, like I was saying to you later. They say at one point they're like, "Don't fire yeah. your guns inside." Yeah, and then they only ever fire their guns inside. Let's rock! <laughs> My dad and I still say that. Outside, <laughs> yeah. they only fire them inside. Yeah. Um, it, but I, yeah, it was just it was more fun. Like yeah. the explosions and the like, brrr, just spraying gunfire yeah, yeah. like into thousands of aliens. Yeah. I always think like, dude, where, like, 
if you just gave Ripley like one of these pulse rifles on the ship, like it wouldn't have been an issue, right? In Alien One, it's like <laughs> one of these guns. Have you seen that meme that's like, um, you know, this piece of media, this piece of media? If a character had a gun, it's yeah. two books. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> Alien. I'm always thinking Alien about shit. Ripley has yeah. a pulse rifle. Yep. Yeah. Um, characters. Bill Pax. Who stuck out to you in, in Aliens? The, this this cast. One of my all-time favorites. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton as Hudson. The legendary android. Bishop. Wait, oh my god. Bishop. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I was listening to a podcast I had heard a million times before. Yeah. It's like I, you know, I keep I have it on in the background when I'm like doing stuff. Yeah. And they made a reference to aliens. Just recently. No, no. It was an old episode that I yeah. had heard before and yeah. I didn't realize it was a, a reference. What did they to say? Aliens. What the, was the reference? Um Game Over Game Man! Over, man. Game it's, over. It's like it was that because Bill they were re- talking about Bill Paxton. Yeah. And then one of the people on the podcast said, Game over, man, that's game so over. And I was like, Oh my god, that's yeah. from aliens. Oh, I love Bill Paxton. <laughs> He's Rip. slaying. He was the best. He is it's such a good character yeah hudson so many lines why don't you put her in charge (laughs) (laughs) so good i also something i noticed during the movie that i i i like in some movies don't like in others but i i really like in a movie like this yeah and i think james cameron does it in other movies yeah a lot like, each character is very, like, their alignment is very clear. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. what's his face? Burke, he's, like, K- neutral y- evil. True evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, just everyone's alignment, everyone's desire is, like, so clear. Yeah. Um, and there's no, like, nuance. <laughs> there's no subtext. It's just yeah. text. <laughs> yeah. No, but subte- I like that. The subtext in this is just motherhood and people. I don't, but I don't think so, it's just- <laughs> Well, so they, so one of the biggest complaints about the theatrical version compared to the special edition, the special edition has a couple deleted scenes. Did we watch that? We watched the regular. Okay. There is one extremely, extremely important deleted scene where everyone is like, why would they take that scene out? It's so important to the entire plot and emotions of the movie. And they made Alien Isolation, the video game, mm-hmm. is ba- pretty much based on that deleted, that deleted scene. scene. Whoa. Okay. It's at the Gateway Station Hospital, very beginning of the movie, uh-huh. Ripley. And she has a scene because she's been in space for 57 years. She's looking at a picture of her now dead daughter who's like 70 something years old. She had a daughter? Yes. Yes, that's why it. Then it plays into the queen protecting her eggs, Ripley protecting Newt, because when she left, Newt was like around that age or as as a kid. So it it hits hard that scene, and it completely. Well, why wouldn't she mention it in Alien? That's the thing. I mean, that's she was why like. I think they cut it. But the engine, like that crew in Alien, was close, but like. But They're like, not really palling around, and like, and she when she wouldn't have a photo, she wouldn't be like, "I have to get back to my daughter." I mean, by the time they wake up, it's like they wake up when they're not supposed to. They're dealing with like landing on this thing. It's all business. Alien is all business. No one's joking around except like the one dinner scene, but it's all business. There's not. There wasn't a moment for her to stop mm-hmm. and be like, "I miss my kid." Yeah, like no one was talking about their personal life. Like they were coworkers. Like, Brett and Parker were definitely buddies, but, like, everyone else, it just seemed like a job. Yeah. You know? But it's a pretty huge... Like, as far as deleted scenes go, it is absolutely one of the biggest and most important, I think, in in terms of any movie that's deleted this I will this also scene. say... Definitely changes the way you analyze and look at the movie. Yeah, I think so. But I think that, that makes it less nuanced. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I understand why you would take it out. Sure. And be like, well, she could still have mothering instincts without having a literal daughter. Yeah. Um, I would have almost, I thought actually at some point she would mention her parents. Like yeah. she would be like, oh, my parents are dead. My parents are long dead now. Yeah. And like have some kind of crisis about that, about everyone she knows being dead. Yeah. Um. So I think I would have preferred that almost. Yeah. Her being a daughter. Yeah. And then her like... You know, Interesting. Taking care of this. Cool. I like that yeah. take. Awesome. <laughs> um, 
that's one thing that hit me harder this time because I have seen this movie a hundred times. There were a couple summers when I was a kid and I just like watched Aliens like every night. Just, yeah. Like over and over. It was Aliens, Phantom Menace, and Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> the three Phantom movies. Menace. Yeah, I just rewatched over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Like, just my comfort <laughs> childhood movies. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but I got the trauma this time from Alien. You okay. know, Ripley dealing with that. Like, waking up in the middle of the night. That was cool. Like, I love that. Multiple times waking up and just like sweating, can't Not sleep. Not being able to go to sleep because you're too scared of your dreams. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. So, I, that hit me harder this time. A little different. I like it, it just like it had a little more impact this mm. time around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know why, but that was in terms of rewatching it for the hundredth plus time, it was like, okay. I'm like, I'm getting this a little more this time. Like, it's not something I always think about when I watch Aliens. It's like, obviously she wants to, like, take him out because of what she went through, but... And then um, Newt has trouble sleeping, too. Yep. I I love that. Yeah. They both are like, we're in this together. Yeah. What do you think of Vasquez? I thought she was annoying. What?! (laughs) <laughs> what, dude? No. She didn't listen. They were like, take. <laughs> oh, no. I thought she was cool in the beginning. I thought oh, she was cool no. in the beginning. But then they were like, don't fire any weapons near the yeah. nuclear bomb. Dude, she saves everyone's ass. Yeah, but... she had those bullets. She <laughs> saves everyone. But her Drake. she also almost killed everyone. <laughs> if one of, one of those bullets had strayed into the nuclear bomb, there would be no aliens. So the thing we don't know, it's probably in behind the scenes shit and the video games, the gun she's using is uh, Tracker. It like tracks. Oh. It's a smart. It's called a smart gun. Those things are called smart guns, and they like auto track and so shit. So it's bullets. It it's is like bullets. little bullets. It is bullets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But again, if an alien moves in front of the nuclear bomb <laughs> and she shoots it, even yeah. if the bullets are tracking, yeah. you go through the alien into the nuclear bomb, and then there's no aliens. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Vasquez, though, one of my all-time favorite movie characters. She. Oh. Dude, Vasquez is one of the goats. I thought she was cool in the beginning. Yeah. Um, I I I thought her death was cool. Yeah. But I just I didn't connect with her really. Okay, sure. Yeah. It happens. Maybe on uh, subsequent viewings. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, and she and Bill Paxton died together, right? They were like. No, it was uh, her and Gorman, the shitty lieutenant. Oh. Yeah. I Bill Paxton heard. got like carried under. They like came from the the floors. What? And Bill Paxton's like, fuck you! Oh, he's like shooting everyone. It's in the red room. It's one of my favorite shootouts okay, ever okay. when they come from the ceilings. That was crazy. And then he's like shooting, taking so many out, and then they like pop up from the floor and like and grab, grab him. him. And he's like, no! <laughs> Hicks, man, no! He and the guy who died with Vasquez, Vasquez look exactly the same. Yeah, Gorman. Yeah. And also the the like love interest, Hicks. kind of. Michael Bean, legendary That's actor. Michael Bean? Yeah. Legend. Uh, also, he was in Terminator, James Cameron's Terminator. And uh, he's also in The Abyss, which was after Aliens. So he's like James Cameron's buddy. Get him, get him a role in Avatar, dude. What's up? <laughs> get him in there. Vasquez is in a couple. She's in like Terminator 2. Sick. She has a cameo in Titanic. I she's a great actress. Like, Bill, yeah, I just didn't really connect with her. Yeah, Bill Paxton in True Lies and Titanic. So what and, was the deal with that like kind of pseudo like love interest thing going on? Yeah. What the fuck was going on? It's just a little bond. But like, I was like, I didn't really understand what I was supposed to get from that because probably just whatever you want or think. Like, I mean, they didn't like, they never kissed. Yeah, you know. And then at some point, he's like, "It's not an engagement." And I was like, yeah. "Are they already together?" Some military just like joking around, you know, like kind of. But she's like, "I know." Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I just yeah. didn't quite understand. Yeah. What, what I was supposed to get from that? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't dislike it. I felt like maybe under the right circumstances, they would have grabbed a beer or like, <laughs> you know, okay. they, they, they could have had a bond later yeah. on, but like now is not the time. But like clearly there was mid the start of a connection there. That's yeah, just the vibe. For I got. sure. For yeah. sure. But I also feel like maybe it's just because the three men looked the same to me. I <laughs> except. Well, no. Bill Paxton, because I recognized him, but the yeah. other two especially, I did not know the difference. But yeah. um, I, I felt like all of a sudden I was supposed to feel connected to this, like, 
flirtation and i was like whoa like Weird. i don't know where this came from okay i think i may have just missed something Got or i thought it was one yeah. character and it was actually the other or something there's also a deleted scene with them right at the end it's mm-hmm. like 10 seconds um they give each other their first names it's actually a really touching scene Ooh. she's like she's like hicks see you like because she's gonna go get newt and he's like Dwayne. Dwayne? Dwayne Hicks. Yeah. <laughs> His first name was Dwayne. Yeah. And then uh, she goes, Ellen. He's like, all right, see you, Ellen. And then she goes, yeah. Okay. Just a little touching, cool. cool scene. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And then there's the the last deleted scene, you know, now we talked about him, is uh, in between the two shootouts, they, have, they find some uh, auto turrets. So, okay. you know, when they're like sealing everything up? They yeah. just throw in a little thing where they like put some turrets on in a hallway. Oh, okay. And the turrets are like shooting the alien. They're tracking it. They're like, all right, bullets going down, to going down. They're shooting them. The aliens are trying to come in. You don't really see any action. You just kind of see the turrets yeah. shooting and just a cool little scene that shows like some more military tech at the yeah. time. It's like whatever. I understand why it was cut. Yeah. 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 Uh, but that brings us to my favorite moment in cinema history. And that is when Ripley goes to save Newt when she fucking has Newt on her shoulder and she's looking up at the queen. That is my favorite moment in oh, movies. Yeah, it's on the poster. So cool. It's on the that's why yeah. I was that's why I said don't look at the poster. There was a poster? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Missed it. I didn't I'm glad. See it. I don't the poster you is that. that. The poster is that with like Newt on her, you know, holding uh-huh. they're both like looking up. Yeah. Uh, it's my favorite moment. That was so cool. I what loved her think? going back for Newt. What do you think of the queen? Give me all your queen a, alien thoughts. A, a regular alien, but three times the size. <laughs> yeah. She was scary for sure. Yeah. Um, were you like, what in the fuck? Were, were you like, where is this going? What were like your your like storyline thoughts? Well, there were. Uh, I don't know. I was just kind of in it. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. I just like. I thought it was gross when she like separated herself from the wall and there's yeah. like a little like membrane or something <laughs> that ripped. That was disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Um and then yeah, she's just like a crazy animal out for revenge, which is insane. Revenge mission. Like, who cares? Let them go. <laughs> Total revenge mission. Yeah, like a suicide mission yeah. basically. Um and then she gets back, dude, the Queen Alien. And that's when my dad showed me the movie. That's that was the moment when uh I fell in love with aliens. I was like seven years old. He comes in, he's like, watch this, and it's legitimately the right at the moment when Wait, tail, that's the first thing you saw? Yeah. Was the tail stabbing. Yeah. He's like, You gotta watch this. Yeah. Tail through Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Rip in half, dude. Wait, that was the other thing I like because destigmatized androids. Yes. Um, Bishop. When she thinks he he left. Yeah. God damn you, Bishop. And then he like he's like sorry, like it was too it was yeah. too dangerous for me to stay on the platform. What I, did you think she was gonna bounce or, or Bishop was gonna bounce? But you're no. like he's coming back. I had a feeling he was coming back. Yeah. 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 To save the day. Because also like. There's no other option. If he's yeah. gone, the whole planet is going to blow up or whatever. Dude, their little touching moment right before he gets ripped in half. So when sweet. she's like, she's like, you did good. Yeah. And he's like, really? She's like, oh, yeah. This is so epic, I dude. I Oh, his like redemption. I love of, robot characters. Dude, it's so brutal. Because like he knew what she went through with, yeah. you know, Ash in the first one. He heard, you know, they talk about it a little bit. <gasps> Him crawling through the pipe. Epic. I'm not. Side I'm mission. not claustrophobic. Yeah. That made me like feel ill. Yeah. It was whew, just yeah. so tight and like <laughs> falling through. Scary. What do you think of the cargo loader one v one Ripley versus the Queen grudge match? <laughs> <It was> insane. <laughs> they open the hatch to space. <laughs> yeah. First thing, the movie ends. Credits hit. First thing Gabby says was like, so. Are we just supposed to believe that they could breathe? <laughs> <laughs> First thing, and I'm just like, <sighs> no, I'm sorry. I'm like, y- yeah, I like I've thought about it too. I guess, like you know, because they open a big door to the vacuum. Well, yeah, here's the yeah, thing. yeah. If you're they right. Had done you're that right. In Alien, yeah. If they had just opened the door to the vacuum of space in Alien, yeah. 
and then they did it again in this, I'd yeah. be like, okay, cool. Yeah. But in Alien, they're very careful. They're very careful to close the airlock. Yes. And then open the other one. And and she has the the space suit exactly. at the exactly. end of one. So for them to just open the door to the vacuum of space in this yeah. one, all the oxygen is sucked out. Everyone everyone's blood boils and they're killed instantly. Yeah. I feel like. I'm sorry. That was the first. No, time this is so funny. It's so true, though. <laughs> I feel like if James Cameron could somehow like take some avatar tech and like ship it back to aliens, you know, like <laughs> a mech, back. a mech that's like sealed up or whatever. Yeah. But then that wouldn't have helped Newt. Right. Cause like, Newt was getting sucked. Two people need, <laughs> two people need to breathe <laughs> yeah. in that scenario. Yeah. But still a badass scene. Oh no, it was so cool. You got the queen. It was versus, so cool. Yeah. Stan Winston, shout out the best in the biz, dude. Doing aliens, doing Jurassic Park, man, doing it all. Some of my favorite effects, doing I the Terminator. I also loved the like kind of android callback. So in Alien, when, uh, what's his name? Ash. Ash. The robot? Yeah. yeah when they kill him yeah. and he's just like a head. Yeah. And it's Ian Holm, right? Yep. It's Ian Holm's head obviously sticking out of the floor. Yeah. Um, but it's like so well done. So, so cool. sick. And he has like gross white stuff all over his face. Yeah. And then... Bishop yeah. is like bifurcated yeah. and he's like on the ground and he grabs where yeah. she gets sucked yeah. out into space. There's a, like the white blood everywhere. It's so, cool. so epic. There's a uh, movie flub there that I won't say. I want to know it. Because then you, you can't unsee it. So are you sure? Yeah. When he reaches up to grab her, you can see his like legs. He's like. What? Yeah. Because he's like in a. He's in like the standing. Floor. He's like standing in the floor. Ah. So he like reaches up too much. You see his legs. I always catch that. Oh, yeah. I like that. I, I don't yeah. mind. That's a funny movies. one. It, that one doesn't bother me. Like, yeah, it doesn't take me out of it at all. No, it's like, dude, just small little. Yeah, thing. and it's like, oh, this is a, a movie. Yeah, you know, like yeah. the the magic the magic of movies. Yeah. So, Gabby, scale of one to ten, Alien and <laughs> Aliens, Alien and Aliens. Where do they rank? How do they hold up? On a scale of one to ten. Yeah, or or you can or you can just go like uh, Siskel and Ebert. Dude, you can give a thumb up and thumbs down if you just want to do that. They're both thumbs thumbs up. up, thumbs up, and I will be I will be the Ebert side. You can be you can be Siskel. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Shout out Gene Siskel's hype. <laughs> I just Roger Ebert's like one of my I know, I idols know. of all time. Uh, so two, thumbs up for both. Yeah, they were both great. They were so different. Do you think they deserve to still be revered as they are? Yes. Some of the two most important sci-fi epics of all time. <clears throat> so it was so interesting seeing The Matrix. Not to bring it back to The Matrix, but seeing The Matrix. Great comparison here. And being like, this does not hold up. Damn. Um, and we gotta see Matrix in the theater, dude. Maybe that'll change your mind. I'm not watching Matrix again. So the, the <laughs> because watching the Av so much of to me the fundamental philosophy of the Matrix. Yeah. I was like, I feel like we have evolved past this. Okay, as a society, we've evolved past this like mindset. Kind okay, of. okay. Um, and with Alien. And aliens, I felt the, it felt more, more focused, focused on like a small no, timeless thing. More like, it, it, yeah, it felt more timeless. Yeah. It felt like, okay, these are still things we see in themes we see in modern movies. Yeah. I get that. And these are, these are themes I connect to in modern movies. Yeah. Some evil corporation out for profit. Yeah. Protecting your loved ones. That's why James Cameron is the best of all time. Universal themes. <laughs> universal themes. 10 out of 10. Stock, stock characters and universal yep, themes. So, yep. Yeah. It's simple and effective. <laughs> Straight up. One of the best in the biz. <laughs> so now I've seen two James Cameron Pre movies. Dude, a pretty iconic lineup of directors for these first three movies. You have Ridley Scott doing the first one. James Cameron doing the second one. David Fincher. Whoa! Doing the third is the one. Third one good. There's an assembly cut. You ab oh. absolutely have to watch that cut. It's like a director's cut later down the line. Okay. 
Wait, assembly cut. It's that's called a, the assembly that's cut. Before the director's yeah, yeah, yeah. cut. They call it that. Yeah, because I think studios came in and fucked it up. Is the story? Yeah. So that's the that's like. So there's the original original cut that like was released way later. Okay. Yeah. Because an assembly cut yeah. is usually like the editor. Yeah. And that's it. So you need that that's cut. That's wild. Yeah. Okay. I have the cut. We should watch it. Anytime. Okay. Because Alien Three. I almost want to give you a spoiler for the first five minutes of the movie because it is, it's annoying. Alien 3 can be pretty annoying. I really like it. Annoying? It's annoying. I like it. I really like it. But whereas 1 and 2 are timeless million out of 10 masterpieces, Uh 3 is like an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10 is really good. 8 out of 10. I like it. I like it. I like it. But it can't, and for, and Resurrection as well is super weird. Like those. What about Alien vs. Predator? Worst movie ever made. <laughs> I want to watch that one too. Worst movie, both of them. <laughs> I've never worst, seen a Predator The movie. first one is PG-13. It's absolute Stop. trash. Yeah. The, <laughs> the second one is rated R and it's visually one of the absolute darkest movies you've ever seen. I need to you see You cannot that. see a fucking thing <laughs> in AVB2. It is a pitch black movie and it's bad pitch. It's like. Like Alien One is a dark movie, yeah, but, but you, you can, can like see, see shit. This is just like shapes, <laughs> just, like, shapes. It's oh, so I bad. See it even more. It's so you gotta see, you gotta see Predator first oh. before you go How down. How many that. predators are there? There's Predator, Predator Two, Predators, and Prey. I think just four. Oh, and The Predator is a bad one. So there's Predator, <laughs> Predator 2, Predators, The Predator, and Prey. So there, I need to see five movies before I see Alien vs. Predator? Yeah, you gotta see the whole... You gotta see the whole... <laughs> you have to see the build-up, dude. It's the match. It's the match. It's Alien vs. Predator. Why are to the see Alien the, and the Predator fighting? You can't, can't talk about that yet. That's that's later down the line, dude. You're, like, skipping ahead to the, the, the end of the book is here. Is a Predator on Earth? In AVP? Can I tell you what I know about the Predator? uh, Yeah. The Predator... Is the Predator just a man? No, it's like a... Oh, it is a creature. It's a creature, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought the Predator was a man in a suit. I mean, there's an actor, (laughs) obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) And he... Oh, no, it's an alien. Oh, Predators predators are aliens. also an alien. Yes. Dude, Predator's fucking sick. Predator's so sick. And it can be invisible. The only thing I'm going to tell you. About Predator. Yeah. Okay. The Predators, this is it. This is all you're getting. So just don't even ask a question ever again about Predator until we watch Predator 1. <laughs> is they are high, high-tech high bounty hunters, basically. High-tech hunters. Wait, high-tech? High-tech hunters. So they're... You're already asking a question. No more questions. That's it. They're high-tech hunters. That's Wait, all you get. I need to ask a question. <laughs> So they're they're like intelligent. They have like intelligence like a human. They are hunters and they have technology. That is they all you technology? get. High tech. So I lost my train of thought here. Alien <laughs> three. <laughs> Alien three next time. We'll watch it. I think Alien Four was Jean Pierre Jeunet. I forget what he directed, but then number four is written by like Joss Whedon, wrote the fourth one. Yeah, okay. Third one, David Fincher directorial debut. <laughs> and fourth even one. Third one. Oh. Alien 3, David Fincher, his yeah, directorial yeah. debut. Even uh, Aliens was James Cameron's only a second movie. That's amazing. He was writing Aliens on the set of Terminator because he didn't think Terminator was going to be anything wow. big or special. So he's like writing like Aliens treatments because he's like, oh, that'll be the one. Cool. But then Terminator. Wait, dude. so how was he given the sequel to Alien? Wait, he wrote Aliens? Yeah. Yeah. How was he given the sequel to that? He like kept pitching. There were some like people who knew people. He tried to get in there, and then the famous pitch meeting, the legendary story that everyone knows, is he got like turned down initially, I think, because he was like unproven. But then like it sputtered around, and he got back in there. And then uh, on the there's a whiteboard, and the pitch meeting, he writes, "Alien." And makes the S a dollar sign. Aliens <laughs> with a dollar so sign. Stupid. That got him the job. <laughs> that got him the job. As the story goes, as the rumor goes. You think there's never going to be an Avatars? <laughs> How dare you? No. <laughs> but there's going to be five of them. Five Avatars. Don't. I don't want any. Any. We're not going down the Avatar route here. Uh, but Gabby, 10 out of 10 movie <laughs> experience. I'm glad Alien and Aliens have held up 
to a first time viewing in yes. 2023. And I will say, as soon as I finish watching- We weren't even born yet. 1979, yeah. <laughs> even Aliens, 1986. We weren't even born. Wait. I was oh, 87. You were not born, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that insane? What were we gonna say? After watching Alien, yeah. my first thought when the credits were rolling yeah. was I can't wait to see like what else is in this universe. Hell like, yeah. I was like, I want to watch Prometheus. Yeah. I want to watch Aliens. I want to watch Alien versus Predator. I was going to say that before we got sidetracked somewhere along the way. The, sh- the, the cool ship in Alien 1, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, it's there very, was like a cyber truck. Yeah, basically in Aliens, there was like a Tesla cyber truck. Oh, the like, yeah, yeah, yeah like, that thing's Whoa. sick. <laughs> yeah. Love that thing. Uh, but there's so much mystery. You don't, you never get any answers in the first movie. Yeah, where did this alien come from? What is even happening? Aliens, same shit. How did they get here? What are these? I things? don't mind that. I love that. Prometheus tries to answer. Some of those questions, That's what makes the and it diminishes. So bad. Yeah, I don't care where all this came from. Exactly, I don't need to know. Exactly. Pat Oswalt has a really good bit about why the prequels are bad, and he compares it to ice cream for Star Wars. Yeah, <sighs> I love Phantom Menace, but whatever. He basically the joke, the gist of the joke is like, I love ice cream. Yeah, the original three. That's ice cream. Yeah. The, the first three is like rock salt and milk and like flavor <laughs> drops. Yeah. Like I don't need to know where my ice cream came from. Yeah. I just want to eat it. That is a phenomenal analogy. Yep. So they do that with Prometheus, so it gets a little weird. But if it like looks cool. Prometheus is a beautiful yeah, film. Yeah, that's enough for me. And like all of them, solid cast of characters. Every Isn't it J.J. Abrams? Dim Lindelof. Lindelof wrote, but Ridley Scott directed, directed. return okay, yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. So at least you have the Ridley Scott connection. If anyone is going to fuck around with the lore of this shit, at least let it be the person who directed the or original. The yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but still a lot more aliens to go. Maybe we'll be back <laughs> here for a franchise wrap up. Or we could do every two movies. Yeah. So we'll do, we'll watch the three back and two, four. Three and four, and yeah. it'll be a little less hyped, but uh, <laughs> still. <laughs> Fun times all around. <laughs> Alien and Aliens, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Gabby, for... Uh, Stay away from her, you bitch. Checking the <laughs>